Clemson community mourning the loss of a beloved Army Colonel Ben Scarton. Passed away Monday, 104 years old, just days after learning of an honorary promotion to the rank of Brigadier General. 7 News' Asia Wilson has the story of a real American hero and Clemson icon. Some people read about American heroes only in pages of textbooks. It didn't take long after I got here that I started hearing about this mythical man. But Ken Scar, a Clemson writer and photographer and combat veteran, was able to build a relationship with his hero, Colonel Ben Scarden, years ago. It's been one of the greatest honors of my life. <laughs> Sorry. That uh, through my position here at Clemson, I've been able to help tell his story to the world. Colonel Scarden died Monday in hospice at 104 years old. The 1938 graduate of Clemson University served in World War II. Ben Scar says he led his troops through some of the fiercest conflicts. But in 1942, he became a prisoner of war and survived what was known as the Bataan Death March. Everyone knows about the Death March, and it was an awful, one of the worst atrocities of World War II. But what a lot of people forget is that the death, march, the death march was just the beginning of what those men went through. Along with the Bataan Death March, Scarden had several near-death experiences as a prisoner of war for more than three years, like being on ships that were bombed and sinking. They didn't know there were thousands of American soldiers on them and sank those ships. So Ben was on one of those ships that was bombed uh, and it sank and he escaped and swam to shore. And in another incident, Scarden was on his deathbed, and the only saving grace was his friends trading his Clemson ring for food, a story that speaks to Clemson ROTC students who knew him. I think he truly um, embodies like what it means to be a soldier and that you really can get through anything if you put your mind through it. While Scarden went through some gruesome times, some recall him leaving a life of serving others. Like coming back to Clemson, where he taught for more than 20 years to honor them. And I generally put the flag by their stone. The least I can do. A legacy and life, his dear friend says, will be remembered not only on Clemson's campus, but across the globe. I try to live my life like him. I mean, that's kind of what he taught me is, is stay positive, serve others. And uh, he's the ultimate American survivor, man. I'm going to miss him. In Clemson, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Oh, what a life. Clemson University says for years, Scarden walked the annual Baton Memorial Death March in New Mexico for miles. Took his last memorial walk at the age of 101 to honor his brothers in arms who didn't come home from the war.